Ashley here to see you. Hello, Ashley. This is a surprise. I've come about Zoe. <sighs> right, you have. Better sit down then. Thank you. So you've uh, you've just been to see her then? Not today. Yesterday. Um, I just wondered what the doctors have said. Well, they haven't said much at all, actually. But as I understand it, she's on the mend. Yeah. Um, so what's bothering you? I think she's deteriorating. Yesterday, I, I thought she was perceiving the world rather oddly. Meaning? I don't want to alarm you, but I thought she was having delusions. Delusions? Seeing things or hearing things, I don't know. Um, she was definitely paranoid, thinking everyone wants to keep her locked up. Well, I've not seen any signs of this. Have you? No! She certainly wasn't delusional before she went in. Paddy and I wondered if it might be the drug she's on. Don't tell me you've been telling him she's been having delusions. He came with me to How say... How many her. other people know about this? What is going on? Why are you The sure? clinic should have informed me. How dare they hide what's going on? Charity? What? That damn doctor still hasn't phoned. I'm going over there. Well, hang on a minute. What if she can't see you? She'll see me. I'm not leaving till she does. OK, do you want me to come with you? If you... If, yeah, would you? Sure, yeah, I'll just go and get my bag. Well, tell her to hurry up. It's absolutely outrageous for her to keep us waiting like this. Mr and Mrs Tate. And we're not going anywhere till we've had some answers. Chris. Good afternoon, Dr Cobham. I'm glad you came in. I understand you have some concerns about your sister. Would you like to come through to my office? But why is she suffering from these delusions? I mean, is it the drugs you're giving her? Because she wasn't like it before she came in. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You see, when people are suffering, as your sister is, they often go to great lengths to conceal it. If you look back, you may be able to identify some of this concealing behaviour. For example, had Zoe ever played the radio very loudly in the past few months? Yes. It's very common for people to do that when they're trying to drown out inner voices. So she is hearing voices? Yes. And, as is very often the case, they seem angry, vindictive voices, which are directing her to perform certain actions, which may account for some of her more bizarre behaviour. Can't believe that. But, but why is this happening? What's wrong with her? I'm afraid it's too early to make a definitive diagnosis. Come on, you must know something. What are the possibilities? Basically, there are three. One is that she's suffering bipolar disorder. What, what on earth is that? Sorry, uh, you're probably more familiar with the term manic depression. Another possibility is that she's suffering post-traumatic stress syndrome. And the third? Well, with behaviour like this, we can never discount the possibility of schizophrenia. But that's terrible. It, it's very serious, isn't it? The label we put on it doesn't make it any more or less serious, Mr Tate. What matters is that your sister is in quite considerable distress. I want to help her. And it would help me if you could fill me in on your family background. It might help us to reach a diagnosis. Of course. No history of mental illness in the family? No. Depression? Alcoholism? No. What about recreational drugs? I told you no. She's a professional woman. That doesn't preclude experimenting with drugs. I've been pretty close to Zoe in the past. And uh, she definitely wasn't taking anything then. So, when would you say you first noticed that she wasn't herself? It's been a while. She's been talking a lot about someone called Liam. What's she been saying? Well, it's uh, fairly incoherent, but she seems to feel a lot of distress and guilt. She has absolutely no need to. Would you like to tell me who he was, what happened? He was an employee with a chip on his shoulder. He 
kidnapped me and held me hostage for several weeks. I thought he was going to kill me on several occasions. Zoe was the one that rescued me. Um, what happened to Liam? Now, look, Dr Cobham, I have no idea what kicked this off. To me, it doesn't seem she's been... mad since then. But the only thing I care about at this point is... will Zoe ever get back from this? I think we can be cautiously optimistic that with the right drugs, she will, in time, be able to return to a reasonably normal life. You don't sound very certain. Ah, there's always a chance of a recurrence. I'm sorry. Look, at least she's in the right place, Chris. She's safe here. She's got a roof over her head, food. They can keep an eye on her. Fill her full of drugs. Yeah, but if it helps block out these voices... Yeah, what else does it block out? That's what I want to know. Come on, we should be going. But don't you want to see before we go? Not today. I need time to take this in. Anyway, what's the point? Sees us as part of the problem. I don't know why you had to make out you have special knowledge about Zoe and drugs. I was only trying to help. Yeah, but it gave the game away a bit. About what went on between the pair of you. No, it didn't. And anyway, maybe we should have told Dr Cobham about that. I think not. If it helps Zoe. And come to that, why did you lie about your dad when she asked about alcoholism? Because I don't think it's got anything to do with it. Well, it might have, mightn't it? We don't know that. And what was all this stuff you were going on about Liam? Uh, just to say, the clinic phoned. Zoe forgot her bag. Well, what, what do you mean? Well, didn't she come home with you? No. Oh, sorry, uh, it's just when they said she'd discharged herself, I just assumed. Oh, my God. I knew we should have gone and seen her. I had a feeling. Did she tell them that she was coming here? I don't know. Maybe we should go and see if she's back at Millbrook. No, it'll be quicker if Terry goes. Yeah, yeah, you stay in case she shows up here. If you find her, don't do anything to alarm her. I'll do my best. Hello? Anybody in at home? Did you go and see Chris? Yes, I did. I'm just wondering what happened because the lights are on at Zoe's. You think they might have brought her home? Well, it doesn't seem likely that they'd leave her there on her own. No. Maybe they've gone to collect some of the stuff. Oh, hello, boss. It's me. Uh, look, she's not here. I don't think she's been here either. I mean, nothing's been moved since they've cleaned up. Do you want me to have another little look around the village? No, no, definitely not. You, you come back here and we'll decide what to do. She's not there. No. Oh, Chris, how's she going to manage? I mean, if she ain't got a bag, that means she ain't got her credit cards or anything. You really know how to reassure someone, don't you? Look, Chris, this is not my fault. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just worried sick. Well, stop taking things out on me. I can't bear the thought of her so paranoid and out of it. And I'm scared in case she does something stupid and tries to end it all. I'm scared because I think we've lost the old Zoe forever. Chris. 